Hello YouTubers. Now in this video, um, I just want to show how to set up a PWM signal for your laser module. I'm just going to start at the laser module itself. Um, I bought this from a local company. It's obviously a, a Chinese make. There's no, there's no identification on it anyway. But I mean, like most laser units, it, it's got a power supply. Um, it's got the laser module itself, which sits here. This one has got a cooling fan on top. And it's got a focus at the bottom. Now, while I'm on the focus, the focus is very important um, when you're doing laser work. As the laser, um, where the laser converge needs to be set um, as fine as possible because if you want sharp laser work, crisp lines, your focus is of utmost importance. Even in a, a CO2 laser, your focus has got to be set right. Otherwise, your the quality of the work that comes out is, is, is not what you want. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to assume then that the laser setup, the focus is correct. That you're going to have to experiment with and I recommend something very simple like a circle and, 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 you, and you draw one or you laser one and see what it comes out adjust do it again and do it again and see what, what which one is the best unfortunately for the thickness of each thing that you want to put your laser engraving on you're going to have to adjust the focus all right so i'm just going to explain so the power supply of the laser it's got three plugs. One is for the fan. That's like I said, that sits on top here. Um, the other one, which is the middle, is the power supply. That power supply sits in my um, electronics bay. It's a 12 volt unit. Um, I believe it's 10 amp. And then the most important is this wire here, which is, I'm not sure if the focus you can see. Uh, is the T, uh, mm, TTL signal transistor transistor logic, as I believe, is the is what the abbreviation stands for. This wire, together with the ground wire, um, is connected here. So I've got the TTL wire here, and I've got my ground wire here. Those wires run down to the electronics bay. Now the ground wire, I just I just wired it from my my controller board, which is a hobby CNC unit. And this wire here is the TTL that's coming from the laser. This is wired to pin 17 of the printer board. Now, pin 17 of the printer board is important. Now, if we go to mark, I'm not sure how the focus is here. The setup in mark, as you can see here, the two top boxes are clicked. That is set at 100, and this is set at 0%. Now, important, the spindle relays output number one. If you go to the output tab, this is where it comes in. Output number one is there and it's set to pin 17. Okay. Now, normal lasers, or there's a majority of lasers out there that's like half a watt, one watt, and those you can set up just with an on and off signal while using a relay, because that one watt is not going to burn up your wood. But if you set 
a 15 watt laser like this one just to on the 15 watt is just going to destroy you what it will go in great thick black lines um, the one way to get from that if you don't have pwm is to set your your feed rate very high but that is i would not recommend that it's it's easier to set up PWM so you have full control of your laser. You can set it at 1%, 200%. So you can decide what your engraving is going to look like. You have absolute control of, of the 15 watt. Okay, now in, in my Kanban, what is most important for this specific engraving I'm going to do, I set my cut feed rate. To 500 and I set my spindle speed to 25 the other most important thing is is if you go to your system and you look at your laser post processor we have two important things here Because this will control your laser. You'll have an end cut which is set by M5, and you'll have a start cut which is set by M3. That's it. That's your laser post processor in CAMBAM. Once you export this file, Mark's got all the all the knowledge that you put in in order to use all the systems now in order to create your laser laser engraving. Now I must just say that this version of Mark is is not the same that I use for my spindle setup. This is another setup, and I believe it's it's easier to create them separately than to want to switch because you're gonna you're going you're gonna forget and what's gonna happen is if you still have your laser for normal CNC end milling there will be a delay every time before it it's not gonna do much but you don't want that that's just better used for laser setup so this one, I don't care what my screen looks like, I've got a setup issue here, but I don't really care about that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to run this file now, I hope I've covered everything. Like I said, the most important is your pin 17 and your output 1, which is pin 17. So I'm going to run this file, and you will see the result. I'm going to put my camera down here, so we makes a video of the whole thing that you can see I'm just going to put this on my my, um, my goggles
Okay. I didn't do the whole engraving, I just want to show you the result. Um, I think that's pretty nice. And like I said before, you have to get your laser focus correct. If it's not sharp, obviously that will affect. So you're going to have to play with it. Unfortunately, that is, that is the only thing is to get the focus right. But I mean, you can develop a method that's going to work for you. So like I said, the PWM allows you to play to play around there's a lot of things that you can change but the most important is my cut feed rate on this one was 500 and down here my spindle my spindle speed was only 25 so if you think about it 25 rpm but that is 25 percent for the laser or 20 yeah um, but, but I mean it, it, it makes sense so you can even set your spindle speed to let's say 200 slower and you can take your spindle speed down because you can keep the spindle speed at 25 and it moves that slow you're going to get very dark lines so you can play around having PWM available and setup is fantastic. Um, so I hope this video can help anybody that try that's trying to set up PWM. Um, it was actually very simple. I didn't think that it was that simple, but at the end of the day, um, that's it. That worked for me, and you can see the engraving there. And I really hope this, there's a lot of people out there that can use what I've said in this video because I really, there was not a video that helped me with a PWM. A lot of videos just explain the on and off of the laser, but having a 15 watt laser with on and off is, that is not the way to go. So thank you for watching. This is Andre from the DIY bench.